What's up guys, PJ Trucking. You guys have been begging me to bring back Truck of the Weeks. Bro, we're just a little bit busy, but right now we're bringing back a Truck of the Week and we're going big. We're going big for a bring back. Basically behind me, I have a six door excursion on full air ride with the compound turbo setup. He drove all the way from Canada, well technically from Las Vegas, and today we're gonna walk you through it and get some durability tests. Right here I got Thomas from Superior Diesel Services all the way in Canada. And today he's gonna run you through his excursion. PJ Chuckin, I'm Thomas. Here's my six door excursion, come check it out. Hey man, what are we looking at here? All right, so six door excursion started out as a 13 Super Duty. Um, so it's originally a 2013 yeah. Super Duty. 2013 right. Lariat. Uh, we back halved an 02 excursion to it. Ended up with the six doors. Um, this way we got all the modern creature comforts. Heated and air conditioned seats, sunroof, entertainment system. Of course you got six, seven uh, power stroke instead of the old seven threes or six liters or V10 or whatever. It's got uh, custom suspension obviously by Poppies. Uh, All right, man, we know those guys. Right yeah, <laughs> um, gear off-road was the wheels, Mickey Thompson tires, um, horn blasters hooked me up with a couple of horns, air tanks to run the whole system, um, AccuAir is controlling the airbags. Uh, yeah, we got custom dual exhaust on it, four inch exhaust brake. Uh, S480 compound turbo set up under the hood. Oh, we shaved the body, shaved all the keyholes. Uh, we added the truck fenders. These are box fenders basically. So it completes the body line. Little notches added into the door right here. Wow. Just kind of completes the look. All right, so there's actually a ton of small details in this thing that you guys will never know. Like first off, run them through the color, man, because it looks black and brown at the same time. All right, so the color is actually just factory Ford black. Uh, but we added three uh, three coats of clear coat to it with copper flake So in the sunshine it gets a nice little Flake like to it brownish, at yeah. night. It looks black. It's just gloss black basically. Which which will bring us to our next point bro. Look at the powder coat. How do we get this color man? Uh, the frame itself Copper copper vein it's called um, It's actually an industrial coating, but it's extremely tough and has a nice texture to it and kind of has a nice finish um, makes the gloss black overlays pop. Um, the suspension is done in a black copper by Prismatic. Um, once again, just a little bit of uh, color difference between the two, just to give you a bit of contrast, so it's not all the same color. Dude, that's crazy attention to detail. Even almost the same browns are different, you know? And if you guys look really closely, you were saying the ripple, right? Yeah. We have the ripple on top, so. Yeah, so if you get in close, you'll see the ripple there against the gloss. We gotta give them a texture effect. It does feel different than this. You guys can't feel it on there, but. Feel a vision. Yeah, yeah. it's like, uh, what's those movies? The 3D movies, 4D? <laughs> but yeah, all right. So we'll run you guys through the suspension real quick. You guys have obviously seen this one. Maybe if you haven't, basically it's a full poppies, basically air ride kit, you know? So these are actually Super Duty axles, right? You're swapped yeah. into 17 Yeah, axles. they're from the they're from the 13 Super Duty that we use for the donor. Um, it's basically an eight to 14 inch. So it sits at eight inches ish like right now about 14 maxed out right um, so in order to make this kit work he swapped it to the axles or i guess we made it work for you i guess right yeah. so technically now he's got these this kit which you guys see on our channel all the time except to have a rear truss at this height or to have a rear four link at this height you have to throw on a rear truss and that's why he has a front four link and a rear four link and a cradle obviously extending this thing so long we had to make him custom arms for that to work uh you guys see how long it is there and then uh and then basically up here you guys see usually with this kit we offer kind of like a fully bolt-on truss with either a coilover or a spring to make this work if you come over here we actually gave him a custom top bag conversion instead of a coilover conversion still with a resi clamp and then right here you'll see a bolt-on bracket that's going to hold the bottom of the bag and basically that's where the bag sit on the front and the rear and then uh, the thing goes up and down pretty responsibly. I was kind of impressed. I'm trying to show you guys under the hood, but I can't see anything. So we're going to crank up the rear, you know? Oh, yeah. I just gained a couple visuals on that. <laughs> All right. See Still what, can't see. see. 
All right, man, run us through it. What do you got here? All right, so we got, it's actually a BD Scorpion kit down in the middle. It's a 64 and a half mil turbo in there. And then we added an S480 compound on top. Uh, we made all the hot side piping in house. Uh, PPE helped us out and they made us some really nice intercooler pipes along with their new intercoolers that they got out for these six sevens, the 11 to 16s. That's available in three colors. Um, we got Mishimoto reservoir tanks under there, Mishimoto rad hoses, uh, built transmission, uh, just some dress up caps, this and that. Yeah, man. This Everything is, uh, is you know, rock A major question are... everybody's going to ask is how much horsepower is it pushing? And gonna, they're going to ask for a dyno proof. It hasn't been dynoed or nothing. It's got basically a stock tune in it right now, but you know, it cruises nice, probably makes like a hundred horse over stock. I will get a dyno maybe at UCC. Oh, fire, fire. What's the exhaust setup on this unit? Uh, exhaust setup, I cannot name the company. EPA things. No, no way. Uh, but it's a dual five inch setup, uh, four inch exhaust brake in line. Uh, we made kind of a custom donkey dual dump setup in the back that tucks in around everything quite nicely. And the dual setup so fire. Yeah, man. sounds good. Not too quiet, not too obnoxious. All right, man. So yeah. well, what do you say we crank this thing up? Bro, they left the DPF in still. <laughs> Good though, bro. Bro, what do you think, bro? Tom? Bro, it's been a while since we've had Tom on the channel, bro. TJ moved to Miami. He doesn't <laughs> come out anymore. Bro, what do you think, Tom? He's hanging out with the roosters, you know. <laughs> we don't have roosters here, and he left. Yeah, the cocks, he bro. found out they have roosters walking around everywhere in Miami, and he, he moved. <laughs> he moved. Bro, Tom, what do you think of this unit, man? It's pretty sick. Pretty yeah? sick. You whipped this? It almost looks like your truck. <laughs> Yeah, man, if he's living. And it's been way too long on the channel since you guys have seen a hill climb. It's overgrown. It's overgrown. I haven't Look cut up. the grass in a minute. <laughs> but uh, to break this right in, bro, we're hopping in on a hill climb. Then we'll go get some pools, and then we'll see what else we get out of this thing, my man. Bro, it's been a long time. Bro, we might have to move the units out of the way. It's even rocky, bro. It's like sedimentation's been happening here. All right, two-wheel drive. Can't she survive? Six-door excursion edition. Oh, you're gonna need way more pepper, Papa. No way. Oh, she's buried. She's buried. You need more pepper. I'm thinking so far, what's your game plan here? Uh, my game plan is I wanna go over the suspension now that I drove it 2,200 miles, and then we'll hit it harder next time. Yeah. When I'm you think back. you got one more? All right, two wheel drive. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Two wheel. Oh, oh. There you go. All right, all right, all right two wheel drive. Survive. All right, all right, fire. Bro, two wheel drive, she can survive. I'm actually very impressed by that. Bro, that very was fire. She bro, it's like he's buried but different, dude. Oh, she made it. But these, but these. You got 10 people? Oh man, going down is harder sometimes. Oh, that hitch is super clear, super clear. First really helped. <laughs> And it, it looked it looked good doing it. It looked good doing it. SOS situation. No happen. SOS situation. So we're good. As we go to the pad, or before we go to the pad, we're actually gonna hop in and show you guys how this thing rides inside. Alright man, you ready? What's up? Man, so hopping in, bro, this thing's a six seven in here, huh? Yeah. So what are we looking at in here? Uh Lariat with uh, you know. We matched all these panels to the outside. Can't really tell what the oh. sun's on right now. But. Damn. It really does look like black and brown sometimes, huh? Yeah. So this way we got an excursion with a sunroof, right? That's uh. a must. And then cap <laughs> the captains for the VIPs back there. Uh. And they got their own little eight inch subwoofer. Put in a little bit of durability right here. Oh, she's eating, man. Look at the AC cranking in this bitch. It's hot. Man, man. So does it have vents all the way back there? Oh, just the center here. The um, center area right here? The rear HVAC area is our power distribution. So that's where all the amps are, all the wiring and everything. Okay. That's how we're able to keep it clean under the hood. So how fast are we going right now? Uh, 65 mile an hour. It's it's out by 10. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Bro, you could definitely drive this thing every day. Yeah. You drive this thing everywhere. You drive it from Vegas. Yeah. yeah. 2,200 miles in so far. So drive it back to Canada if somebody doesn't buy it by then. All right. 
right, so you guys heard it. It's actually for sale. What are you thinking? Um, everything's for sale for the right price, right? Yeah? Where would you be at ballpark on this one? Uh, somewhere. Somewhere. If someone comes to me around 200, we'll talk. Right? Yeah. All right, there you go, man. This can be yours for 200K. Instead of buying a Sherp, you know? You buy yeah. this thing. Pretty well. So it's been a long time since we did a durability test on channel. So right now we're back at the pad. In case you're new here, basically the hill climb, the pad. Across the street we have the mud hole. Obviously we're not gonna take the SEMA truck through the mud hole, but we are gonna see if we can get a little pool going, see how fast we can get it to go on the track, and then see if we can lay down a Bernski, man. So something we didn't get to even cover is like, what's up with the trans on this thing? So it's got a built trans. It's just a mild build, nothing crazy. It does have hardened shafts and all that. Um, we got 430 gears front and rear in the dips, so it's kind of matched to the tire size. So it should, in theory, spin them. We'll see how the two piece drive shaft does. But Oh, a little roll dig! Alright, so obviously we've had faster trucks at the pad, but. That was a good little pull for what that thing weighs, you know, and what it is. All right, man, that would you hit? Slow. Slow. Know, like uh, 80? No, I'm just kidding. I hit about 50, 55 50? miles an hour. Uh, yeah. It's pretty heavy, man. It's yeah, pretty... it's heavy. Big turbo to spool. Once I got into the boost, it starts going. Yeah, yeah. It takes a lot to get 11,000 pounds moving. Right, right, we're gonna try to get a burnout in and we'll see what happens, man. It's spooling, it's spooling. Oh, -ho. whoa, we got a spooling issue. No way. It's too big of a turbo, I need a nitro shot to spool it for a burnout. Oh, no. So he did say it was going to take a lot for that truck to spool. Uh, so actually, you can't even do a burnout, to be honest. Uh, hopefully one day when he comes back, he'll be able to spool that thing after he gets some nitrous and some tuning done. They sell tons of high luxury cars here, and today we're bringing them the excursion just so they can see. They're going to try to sell this thing, and also we're going to check out what they have in here. This is what you want, guys. Which one are you taking? Uh, dude, I don't know, man. I gotta have in this one. I don't have any purple. Ah, I know you want a purple unit, huh? Bro, you guys finally got rid of this one. Manny's show? dream car okay. is a purple yeah, Lambo. Yeah. Maybe we'll see if we can do a straight trade right now. Oh, What's Manny, you might fall in love right here, man. It's a real deal, man. Bro. Really what you need, guys. You think my key will work? <laughs> Maybe this will work. Look at that. Gas. This is the second Cybertruck you guys see on. Oh shit. What are they doing, man? The Cybertruck or the Cullinan? Look at this. Oh, dude, that's what they call it. Leonardo Gray Cullinan? Yeah, that's it for me. That's it for me. Bro, would you straight trade for the excursion or not? Right? <laughs> Bro, imagine that in front of the shop every day. So ladies would love man if you had this unit. Yeah, ladies would. <laughs> Up in the comments below, what do you guys think of this color? Bro? This is a tech arm, bro. Dude, this thing is nuts. I actually love this color. Check this out right here. You guys see it? It's a wrap, but it almost looks gloss. Bro. Overall, first truck of the week back. I'm gonna try to keep consistent with the truck of the week. It's kind of tough with the traveling. And you know, come, we got a lot of truck builds going on at the shop right now. But uh, I'll try to give you guys a truck of the week. If not, I think we're going to start doing truck of the weeks in different states. So we got some new trucks. This is sick because it's from Canada. We never would have seen it. Uh, hope you guys like it. Definitely something different, you know, than we've had on the channel in a while. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. And peace your trucking.